After installing a fresh and recent copy of Debian, we are ready to start installing Hadoop. As I said in the previous video, normally software is installed via the distribution's package manager, apt in the case of Debian. However, we won't do that for Hadoop. Here's what we're going to do. We will navigate to Hadoop's website and then we will download it. After downloading it, we will put it into the right directory and then we are going to start a small test drive. Also note that we are going to create a new user for Hadoop. So let's start with creating a new user. For this, we first uh, fire up our virtual machine. So open VMware Workstation Player and then just click on Hadoop Sandbox, Debian GNU Linux, then it will boot. And here we just log in via our personal account. Joshua in my case. All right. Didn't go into full screen mode. All right. Okay. So um, we are logging in with our personal account again, right? So we have not created a Hadoop, Hadoop account. So that looks familiar. Creating a new user in Linux is actually pretty simple. So we first open up the terminal again. And inside the terminal, we just enter sudo add user Hadoop. So enter password. And now we got to give it the new password. So type in a password you will remember because we will need it again. Now this is some additional information I won't provide. So just hit enter and say yes, all of that is correct. Okay, so again, make sure you use a password, a password which you remember since we'll mainly be working with uh, this account. Also note that it created a home directory for the Hadoop account. So um, first um, let's log in as the Hadoop user. So enter su hyphen Hadoop. Now, do you remember the su command? Uh, we used it to log in as root. However, this time we are also um, providing a hyphen and the name of the account we would like to log into as. In this case, it's the Hadoop account. So enter the password you chose for the Hadoop account and hit enter. All right, we are now logged in as the Hadoop user and we are inside that user's home directory. So you can see we are logged in as Hadoop and we are inside that user's home directory. So as you can see over there, this is not Joshua's home directory, it's a dupe's home directory. Okay, um, we are set and we can start downloading Hadoop. For that, I would like you to first open Firefox. So applications, internet, Firefox. So just the Firefox browser. Now next navigate to, um, the, to Hadoop's website. So just go to hadoop.apache.org. Um, so this is just Hadoop's homepage where you can find a real detailed guide and how to set up um, on how to set up Hadoop. Um, so for example, if you click on getting started, note that most of the stuff we will talk about is taken from those guides. Hence, I would encourage you to take at least a look at them. Okay, so next we want to download Hadoop for Linux. So click download. And here I am going to opt for the newest version, 3.3.0 in my case. Also, we want to download the binary. So click binary for 3.3.0. Um, notice that we will receive a suggested mirror right over there for downloading Hadoop. However, I will not click on that link since I'm still using Debian with my normal user account. Um, it is only within the specific terminal session where I am logged in as the Hadoop user. Instead, I will just copy the download link. So I'm not actually clicking on it. I'm just copying it. So get that out of the way. And next, let's go back to our terminal and enter the following command. So enter wget, and then I just paste the link right over there. And here I used the wget command and provided the download link as an argument. This will download the file into whatever folder I am currently in. More specifically, I am currently inside the Hadoop user's home directory. 
Hence, it will download the Hadoop binaries inside that folder. However, um, how did I paste the link, actually? If you're used to Windows, you might be inclined to just press Control V. Um, in Linux, however, you need to press Control Shift V. Um, so let's hit Enter. And it's downloading. And it should be done in a few seconds. You can increase the size of the terminal if you want to. Okay, it's done. Now we can put ls. Um, notice that the downloaded file is not just a simple binary file like an exe file in Windows. It is archived and compressed. In order to use Hadoop, we need to unpack that file. The command to do so is a bit cryptic, but if you use Linux long, long enough, you will get used to it. So I'll just enter tar hyphen xzf and then just the name of the file and hit enter. Um, tar is the program used to package or unpackage the files. We can use that program to unpack it. Extracting is done by uh, using multiple options. And I like to remember them by saying extract the file. So xzf extract the file. Um, okay, so let's check that everything went as we hoped it would. So ls. You can see we have the packaged Hadoop tar file and a new folder with the same name. This is Hadoop, so the folder is of course Hadoop. First, let's remove the tar file. So rm for remove, then just Hadoop 3.0.tar.gz. Uh, Enter. Okay, so before we do anything, let's first test whether Hadoop works out of the box. Let's navigate into the sbin folder inside the Hadoop folder. So cd for change directory, Hadoop 3.3.0, sbin. Hit ls, so there's a bunch of files. And uh, let's try to start the HDFS without any configuration. So dot for the current folder, then start hyphen dfs dot sh. So as you can see, it throws an error. Hadoop won't run out of the box. You first need to make some configurations for it to work. This will be dealt with in the next video.